Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the MAC address in a Cisco search environment. So this is the way to run the specific commands and jump from switch to switch and find the where a specific MAC address is connected to a Cisco switch. So here we have three MAC addresses and I need to find where are these MAC addresses located on the Cisco switch. So let's start with Mary's MAC address. To find the MAC address on this switch, we need to run the command show MAC address, and then we can put address, for example, and the specific MAC address like this one. Or what we can do is remove the address, pipe, include, and then the last four symbol of the MAC address, which is faster and easier. Now let's do this one. And here we see the MAC address, it's in VLAN 10 and located here. Now, where is this MAC address located? It's on the Ethernet 1.0. Let's check what's the Ethernet 1.0. Okay, that's a trunk port. It looks like it might be going to a different switch. Let's check the CDP. And here's our interface. Now, this interface has the switch name floor 2. So let's check the IP address of this switch and log into that switch. Show CDP entry and then the name of the device. And here's the all the information that CDP can get, uh, get to us and here's the IP address. This is the IP address of the switch. Now on that switch, on this switch, I don't have AAA uh, new model enabled, so I'm going to log in even without the authentication because that's easy uh, for that's easier to have in a lab instead of authenticated. So once I'm once I type this IP, I'm going to tell it to it without the authentication. Don't do that in the production. Okay, now on uh, I'm on the different switch. Before you see I was on the core switch, and now I'm on the on switch floor 2, this is the access switch, and I still need to find the same MAC address. Show MAC address, address, and the full MAC address. And here we found the interface. This is the interface. And it is the access list, um, I mean access port. And let's check how many MAC addresses does this interface have. Show MAC address interface. Zero, Ethernet zero 01 and the interface has only one MAC address and we can assume that the computer is directly connected to this port. So the computer is connected to the floor 2 switch on a port Ethernet zero 02. As you can see we found it correctly. Now let's go back and find the other two MAC addresses. Let's find James MAC address. Where's James computer connected? Show MAC address, address, and put the MAC address. Okay, we don't have the physical interface here. All we have is the port channel group interface, and it's in VLAN 11. Now, let's see what interfaces are on this port channel. Show Ether channel 1, because it's a port channel 1, and let's say sum summary. And here we have two interfaces. Now, if we'll check the configuration of these two interface, we'll see there is a port channel group one. And that's why we have the interface PO1 here. Because we have an ether channel between core switch and some another switch. Now we can do show CDP again. And interface, not interface actually, I think you can, yeah, just directly choose the interface. That's going to be Ethernet 02 and details. Now, I'm asking that all CDP enabled devices are connected to this port and giving the details because I want to see IP address like without, you know, using CDP entry. And here's the IP address. Now, this is the IP address of the floor one, as you can see. So this device is connected to the floor one here. And that floor one has the IP address 172.16.0.3. So I'm going to log into this switch now. I'm on the floor one. Now I'm going to run the same command show IP, Mac, I mean, show 
my card address. Then, yeah, I don't fully say the uh, command name, but uh, the full name would be show MAC address table address and then actual MAC address. And it's connected to Ethernet 01. Now, does this interface 01 have any other MAC addresses? I doubt. Oh, it has actually two MAC addresses on this interface. Okay, why? Because it's a trunk and it looks like on this port we also have a switch. Let's check it. Show CDP interface Ethernet 01. And no, show CDP neighbors interface I mean Ethernet 01. Warehouse switch which is connected to our floor one switch. So let's check what's the IP address of the warehouse so we can log in to this warehouse switch and find the MAC address where the James, where's the James computers is connected. Okay, so let's do this. Show CDP entry, then CDP device name, and here's the IP address. Now we can run this IP address from here and try to log into the warehouse switch and we are on the warehouse switch and again let's run this show mac address table address and our mac address and here's the port and this port most likely have connected only one device yes so this device james is on vlan vlan 11 and on port ethernet zero ethernet one zero let's do that yep ethernet one slash zero through the warehouse so we have now left barbara to find and barbara is connected somewhere on the warehouse or the floor because it's not here we know that front topology but i don't, don't want to show you where the barbara is connected right now so let's grab the barbara's mac address and do show mac address and Keep in mind, I'm running this not on the core switch, but on the warehouse. And let's check where this is connected to the warehouse. Okay, it doesn't show on the warehouse. Let's go back to the core switch and see if Barbara is communicating traffic with the core switch, then core switch would have the MAC address in the COM table. Show MAC address, table address, and the Barbara's MAC address. Okay, it's connected to the PO1 again, which means we are Remember the P01 was connected to the floor one. Even if you don't know that, you can do Ethernet channel, show Ethernet channel one summary, and here's are the here are the interfaces, which will do show interface and run the CDP on them. And as you can see, there's a floor one switch connected to the core switch. Let's do show CDP entry again, just to remember our IP. Okay, here's the IP address. Let's log into this IP. And we are on the floor one switch now. Let's run the show MAC address table address again for Barbara's MAC address. And it's connected to the Ethernet zero, 0. Now let's check what's here. It's an access port and most likely Barbara's computer is directly connected to this interface without any other devices. And yes, it is connected to Ethernet 0 slash 0 in VLAN 20. Let's see. And here's the interface. So yeah, this is how you find the MAC address on the Cisco switch environment. And I hope this will help you at some point, guys. And thanks for watching.